In less than two weeks, voters across the country will cast their ballots. In Vermont, a lot of people have already done so. For a non-presidential election for November, I think we're going to be the highest that we've ever had before. Donna Kinville has been at the helm of the clerk's office in South Burlington for 18 years. The team there has issued about 1,500 early ballots since September. Four years ago during that election, we had 1,000 ballots that we issued early at that point. So we're that again half. On Monday alone, Kinville says more than 100 people came into the office to have their ballots processed. In Montpelier, a similar story for John Odom. People are getting more used to the idea of a voting season rather than a hard and fast voting day, which is great. I think every time you got Bernie on the ballot, uh, you know, regardless of his odds in the in the election overall, it energizes a lot of folks to come out. Right now, Odom says the city has about 700 early voting ballots in hand, but he expects that number to break a thousand come election day. I think we're going to have an early ballot rate of between 30 and 40 percent somewhere. The clerks say another reason people are voting early is because it's easy. All you have to do is either call the clerk's office and tell us you want your ballot to be mailed to you. They have to be sealed and signed with your signature um, in a special envelope that's then returned and then you're checked off the checklist. Early voting will be available in both cities until Monday, November 5th, including the Saturday before in Montpelier. So checked in with the Secretary of State's office. They say there's more than 481,000 folks registered to vote here. 17,300 of them, more than that, have already returned their early ballots. Back to you guys. Spencer, the ACLU of Vermont is appealing a lawsuit against the Burlington Police Department.